This segment brought to you by Roofing Supply Group, a leading national distributor of commercial and residential roofing products to both contractors and homeowners. Welcome back to Veteran Outdoors. So far today, Sean Locker put a shot on a beautiful black bear that ran off into the woods. But with a second bear that stuck around, there's no time to look for Sean's bear. JJ Guerrero is set up in a nearby stand, and Aaron, a full curl outdoors, wants to try and get JJ over to Sean as quickly as possible so that he might have a chance at harvesting the treed bear. Well, JJ, we're out here. We're going to go hunt some bears. Uh, it's about 6.30 in the evening. We're heading out to the stand. You know, uh, you guys knew that y'all were coming bear hunting. Uh, us, on the other hand, we had no idea. So meeting up with you guys in, at the airport uh, this morning was, uh, was a heck of a surprise. I can imagine. I mean, I was, I was geared up for a hog hunt in South Texas. Uh, Ryan Hollardez told us to go to the airport. We had no idea what was in store. You know, 24 hours later, I'm up here in Alaska. Uh, it's about 40 degrees outside. Um, we're gonna hunt till midnight. The sun's gonna be out till midnight. I mean, this is this is unbelievable. I'm I'm just I'm shocked. I, I can't believe I'm up here. Uh, you know, this is great for you. You're getting to go hunting, and uh, and you knew about it. You were able to plan for it. Yes, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. I don't know how much of the surprise you were in on. I mean, obviously you knew we got we were coming, but uh, I don't know if you knew if this was a surprise for us or, I, I or not. I surprise for you guys. Yes, you did. Well, that that is that's awesome. I can't believe you guys have done this for us. You know, usually it's it's us taking you guys on hunts, and the story's kind of been flipped around on us here. So this is uh, this is exciting for us. I'm, I'm, I'm just thrilled to be up here. This is going to be a great trip. The plan was to uh, sit at the uh, handicap uh, spot. The, the baited area or whatever the, the, the bear is supposed to come around was just right in front of us, about 45 yards. And it, was, it should have been a simple shot. Bear comes up, you look at him, and go, pop. And we were there for about an hour and a half, and then we, we heard a shot just minutes before that and all of a sudden we heard the, the vehicle rolling behind us. Aaron bells out of this vehicle and says guys guys we got to bear up a tree come on let's go Sean's Sean's holding him for us uh hurry up get in the suburban let's go we got to go get this bear. You know Sean has this bear tree he's a little bit nervous about keeping it up there I think he ended up putting a round or two into the tree to keep the bear up there. About 15 minutes in the little stand the little stand off with the cell up in the tree she decides she wants to come down and all my hooting and hollering and stick throwing's not doing anything. So I didn't want to, Aaron's rifle was a pretty big caliber and I didn't want to waste any of his ammo so I grabbed my, my Saco and it was a wind mag so I just wanted to spook the bear so I just shot around into the ground about 15 feet in front of me and she scurried on up about 10 feet so I breathed a sigh of relief down. So. I'm watching the cell up in the tree, she's uh, she's kind of, she's getting really antsy, but I, I hear the vehicle park, and uh, I know it's a ways, Aaron and Wes, and everybody comes on down the, comes on down the slope, and they're just getting it, running as fast as they can, getting towards the, coming towards this tree. It was nice to see them, and uh, JJ, he's, uh, he's doing his best to get down. He's still kind of feeling, feeling some of his injuries, but he came down, and he was really excited. Because I can't run, uh, I, I kind of fell back, and the guys just took off in front of me, you know, and I was just following the trail and I, I'm carrying my rifle, and uh, I'm, I'm trying to not, not trip and fall. You know, it took us a while to get back with JJ to where Sean was keeping this bear treat, but when we got back, the look on Sean's face was, uh, you know, we couldn't have gotten there faster. By the time I got there, uh, I looked up and I saw this, uh, to me it's a fairly big sized bear, you know, since I never hunted bear before. Uh, and I knew it was a, a, a female sow, so uh, took aim, uh, leaned up against the tree. <laughs> I heard a click, and I didn't have a run in there. Join us next week for the exciting conclusion of this Alaskan black bear hunt with Veteran Outdoors. This is all about the heroes who risk their lives Defending our country and each of our rights We're the land of the free and the 
home of the brave. This is veteran outdoors, giving back to those who gave.